me, huomenta kaikille. Morning for everyone. <laughs> it was slightly long fight to get Hogwarts running, but I managed. So basically there's this thing that the game actually can run out of the um, memory when it's compiling shaders. And there's some workarounds, but they really didn't work out so well with me. Anyway, let's make a sound check and then we are off to the Hogwarts. Basically, the game starting tutorial. We played it yesterday, uh, so not many hours under under us for this game. <coughs> Testing, testing. Somehow Twitch seems seems to be a bit bit more strict on the it drops drops me drops out me my stream all of us <laughs> at well at times at least. Onwards to glory or something, or a good grades, or defeat of the goblins, whatever. I have a nagging feeling that, that this game is about goblin wars, or goblin rebellions. And it was like, it had like star Dark Souls type of <laughs> gameplay when we first tried, so yeah, with a harder difficulty this, this would be a rather Dark Souls-like game. Please do not crash on me, that, that would be really nice. I need to plug and take out and plug plug back and again this controller so it could work. Okay, seems like it. So this is Gryffindor room. Find your common room. All right. Now, which way is the common room? I wonder. Yep. 
Apparently, I need the fire spell for that. This is common room. Thank you. Right. So lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Uh -huh. Can't imagine starting a musical this late. Am I the drill? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Gryffindor uh, door student. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yeah. It is true. But I, uh, uh, we handled it very well. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. So people like the I gossip. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. I would really like Ugh. someone to try it. Sure, you don't Beasley. want to try it? Okay. Brewed it myself. Of course. Weasleys are all over. Oh, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Mr. Can't believe it. Deputy Plus Head Mistress, right. your Is it true mother. That someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figs. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? Yeah, he's I asking. Am. She's my aunt. Oh, aunt, okay. Sure. <laughs> that must be awkward. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity no, as much as you Snape. might think. Sharp. <laughs> Tää vaikuttaa hyvältä peliltä. Saan nähdä, että oli ainakin ihan hirveä työ saada Thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as Pretty well. Pretty hard to get, get running, but yeah. Could, could be good. Uh, battle was a bit like uh, Dark Souls type. Yeah, thank you for uh, following the saber.
So this is Gryffindor common room. They have a castle inside. Wait, that's not right. I really thought I had it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true? Oh, no, on not last minute, things, basically. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. Yeah, this is What's this so one, one thing. Basically, this one. underage going to keep at it. Uh, wizards and witches uh, shouldn't be allowed to cast spells during summer when they are out of school, but everyone seems to do it. Despite, uh, well, ministry basically could track if underage uh, student is casting a spell. On, on their free time, so it's like a lore, may, maybe some kind of issue with the lore that it's not logical. Is it really that difficult to cast non verbal? Yeah, it's oh, really yes. difficult. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. <gasps> He was not happy. <laughs> basically, non-verbal casting should be something that 50 year students can do, but I recall that it was difficult. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. Okay, so sixth year. And even year. then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. If the stream drops, just reload. Um, I, I don't know why it's going to be so difficult today. But it, it might be about the game as well, because this is like... This is not coded terribly well. <laughs> well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. New Gryffindor. Yep. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. I do have it outside of Hogsmeade. I'm going to try and link them all this year. I'd like to retire to Hogsmeade one day. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Yep. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at Ouch. the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. I wonder what's, what's his, his story. I mean, I mean, basically, if he can, he can cast, cast a non-verbally, he's, he's ahead of some students, but then again he hasn't, hasn't studied 
magic in uh, school. What is it? it is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Magical po pockets. Thank you, Professor. Because why, what why do you not? mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. It's a bit funny that... Uh, the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Pretty funny, funny that uh, uh, Twitch is actually dropping, but the YouTube isn't. Okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, <laughs> and we'll see what the guide says. Well, do. that wizard has some issues. Revelio. Wizard Barufio. Brain elixir. I wonder how long this tutorial is going to continue. Okay. Lots of stuff to do. And I can get uh, items for that. Oh yeah, uh, Twitch uh, drops are enabled in this stream, so if you watch it uh, long, you can actually get a new set of items. It's actually grayed out. So I can't, I can't show them yet. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Oh. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. RTX is, uh, is not enabled right now, so don't have a RTX shaders on ray tracing because I'm actually recording at the same time, so thought that it would be a ah, bad idea. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Flu flames. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Three D map. How, how nice. Central Hall, uh, South Wing. Select South Wing region. Flu flames. Fast travel options. Because why not? 
of, of course you could actually just walk around or fly with a broom so why not so are you planning to uh, play this game or or uh, just decide after after you watch uh, number of streamers to play it And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay. Always nice to know, something nice to happening know, here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. All right, I so jinxes are actually Rogan. Charms class. He's a clever and entertaining Rogan. wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in Hecate. charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. Yeah. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Professor Good luck Fig. Today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Just checking the stream health. Okay, Professor. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today. 
before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Uh, Good. Now, understandable. as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Charmed compass. Professor's assignments. There's a chest and pages and Demiku's statues I need to find as well. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Revelio. Charmed Gomper. Oh, what am I? Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. <laughs> potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Mm. Maybe the painting has taken a break. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos! That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. A beginner's guide to transfiguration of mind. Oops. Lumos seemed to cause a bit of lag. So it's, uh... Pillars and stairs and some statue. Bit, bit like in Skyrim. 
Ignis Arum Probat Labor Ipse volu, Voluptas Any, Anyone can tell me what to, It's probably Latin but What the, does that mean? Maybe This looks like the location from the painting What could be so special about it? Lumos It's a butterfly Let's get you back to your frame little moth Ah, escaping painting. Professor Weasley, he's how wonderful to exist. Okay, how? I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Nora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. Like a moth to a fray. Couplet side relationship quests. Second level. Nice. So apparently it's pretty good idea that I make uh, complete this side quest. Now, do we have anything nice? No. Ah, uh, well, we do, but it's probably I'm too low level for these. Until I get stuff. This this is this is actually natural page scarf. No magical properties. If you want to be Harry Potter, sure, <laughs> go for it. Dark flat cap. I don't seem to have those twitch drops yet. But I, I wonder they will probably appear in due time. Okay. And uh, defense against dark arts or charm. Let's go to charms. Let's not <laughs> Stra uh, jump straight into the dark arts. Paint painting with music. There's a griffin. Rebellion. Something, something, something. Yeah, seems like those uh, sh shaders are not terribly optimized. Wait, I'm, I'm going wrong way. This page place is huge.
probably not going to need this yet. So. The magical navigator is directing me upwards. And then right through, through these doors. X. So it's in a, another building. Yeah, there's lots of stuttering in this game. It works fine, but stutters. Ah, rooms. Huge. the charms class defense against dark arts building I, I can't remember all, all buildings and parts of the Hog, Hogwarts from the want? books Amazing amount of texturing in this game. Revelio. Oh, that's a toilet. Look at that box is seemingly on the upper floor. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Uh. I noticed a scuff on his shoe the other day. I would not take another step until a house elf polished it away for him. Horrid man. Why would Black want to be headmaster? Black wants to be headmaster of Hogwarts. Okay. Yeah, I recall that Blacks here. were actually pretty Behind prominent you. family. There is an open seat here. That's I. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. Nettie, okay. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. okay. Do you even he's, remember he's how those, to perform one of those teachers. Charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. He's pretty that good at, at this. You are a swift learner. 
I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I wonder what happens next. Apparently this game has pretty big open world as well, but I, I think we're going to stuck with the main quest before we, before we can get, ah. get skills and stuff. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would yeah, agree. Yeah, but we can hmm? play Quidditch. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Why me? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, Accio, uh, think of this like go. Very good. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> okay. That's it. Oh, okay. That that works. So, right amount of pool. Splendid! Stay focused! <laughs> Ouch. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see you. Yeah. Ah. Release too early. What's this? There we go. Again, can I? I didn't Excellent. manage to push those over. Uh, not someone has caught winner. All right, this is interesting. Practi practicing on Akio. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Yes! 
Finally, finally. Ah. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm probably the chosen one. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. All right. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Everything is big in but America, it never uh, Africa. But it or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. Yeah, probably there's lots of wizards all over the world and they have their, their, their own institutions to, to teach magic. There. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Okay. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Yeah, and I think the wand could actually give some special flavor of the magic. At least if you read the Harry Potter books. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. Though. A word, if you would. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. 
Uh -huh. Expect okay. to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. For charms, I I assume. Rebellion. That's a Harry Potter <laughs> or something. Someone. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Ah, uh, okay. That might come with the uh, with the uh, being a wizard. Not paper A branch, but paper paper birds. Of course, they probably don't just throw them around, but cast magic and. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. What are you doing? Trying to get the Lumos work. Where's the Revelio? I take the upper floor. Off on another adventure, are we? The goblins in the upper werewolves, where were you? In the goblin rebellion of seventeen fifty. And by the end of it, the minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot and he says it's a Flack. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boot and it wasn't Flack. But I you're think all it in might be Professor Black. <laughs> this one. So from the left side, tier one to all of way, way, way to nine. Yes. Okay. And calculation from that. One plus four, five, uh, seven. So it's. That one. Worked out well. Solar protection goggles. Shades. Can I be a cool student with, with the shades? <laughs> Sun sunglasses. I I can keep keep sunglasses inside inside of the house as well. <sighs> Put in air tools. Level one lock. Okay. The headmaster hates everyone who isn't a pure blood Slytherin. I'm glad there's a Slytherin in charge of the school, willing to make the hard decisions. Okay, we have Slytherin in the in the charge of the school. Oh, I remember that. Apparently, they are not that bad. Well, I did say to distract her, but... Okay, no, 
how do I get up there? Or probably to, through the st stairwell. It's a pretty huge splash. Rebellion. Next room, which we can't access from here. Strong, maybe. Okay, nothing, nothing here. Probably. Where am I, am I going? I don't know. <laughs> Charms building is... Astronaut, okay. Ast imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Astronomy. I don't know where where am I going. I'm just exploring. Elegant castle. Yeah, apparently it's, it's pretty good idea to explore, but we are needed at the class. Rebellion. Rebellion. One of these, uh, okay. Lumos. 
corner and arch. Somewhere nearby. Two pillars. When they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. That young'un's now a teacher herself. No <laughs> wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. <laughs> not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Wouldn't be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. Uh. Like a castle filled with it puzzles. I wonder. How nice to see you, my young friend. This has arches. Oh. And, and the frame rate is, is slightly bad, actually. Rebellion. Oh, Chris, skeleton. Lumos. I think that Lumos might cause some lag issues. Too, too much light to the scene. Every cat and spin all the balls, all the globs. Revelio. I need to le learn that flame spell. Oh, so there's a window. Interesting floor. Inside here, mm. 
Revelio. Uh, this is the <laughs> one witch that uh, like to be burned <laughs> as a witch uh, during the Middle Ages. Harry Potter has so many uh, weird and weird and silly, silly uh, things in, in in the lore. I remember some of them. Lumos Revelio Can't do anything about that box. visited here so it's not like I really don't know where the butterfly is so I should probably head back to the class unless it's on, on the upper floor which is totally possible a beard what are you up to now? I actually like that there's actually uh, a uh, size a uh, decent crowd in, uh, in a school because there should be a lot of students. Let's explore the upper floor. Shall we? But butterflies here, or should be here, but it has flown somewhere. I I really don't know where it could be. Maybe op opposite side of the building. This is more like it. Fix classroom, okay. And here it is. Lumos. I don't recall what was Fix uh, primary uh, primary thing to uh, teach. Okay, where's the battle butterfly place? Up there, yes, it is.
Wait a, wait a moment. So, um, what we have here is DLSS, and that's like improving performance balanced is good. We have first we had quality, and but we could actually go for performance here because stuttering issues we think is off frame rate is uncapped that these are preferred options here could actually turn that off uh, everything is ultra and I managed to get this working far better when I had actually didn't use the settings that were given to me by by the in Nvidia. Okay, so our ray tracing is now on, and it's high. I might want to turn ray tracing off. Yeah, it, it is actually. So turn the quality a bit down for the stream. Now it actually doesn't stutter as badly. But yeah, streaming and recording and at the same time trying to do those ray tracing shadows. That's a lot, lots of, lots of stuff to do for the graphics card, so... I think this is okay. Still on the hood of the... On the fence on, on the topic of actually using ray, uh, ray tracing shadows with this. Stupid. 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 Oh no. Levioso. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. That, that also might actually drop the st stream if we... ouch. We, if we just lo uh, load the GPU with too much of stuff, it Levy might actually, actually drop the stream just because of that. So probably no RTX for the... Now, let's try something a little larger. For the stream. Well, we have RTX now on, so... But I might want to turn it off at some point. Let us begin with the basic cost. Yes. 
See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise is only good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, uh. I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Protego, this Levioso, should... this can't be your first duel. Let's just turn all of my students in this event. How do you enjoy a lively duel? Stupid Biker. Let your opponents decide what you attack or defend yourself. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Nuke it, guy came in and, and beat you your, your, your ass. So. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. He, he's already getting to points practice. to Gryffindor. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. So... Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned dueling, hmm. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. A teacher is ne next to Pleasure chatting those with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Alright. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks, thanks, Karma. Well, I started uh, if you know the right this game yesterday well, and all it's... I prefer to keep things friendly. It's running dreadfully. That's what it what it is. Uh, we have a RTX sh shadows on, but I think I might turn them off at some point. GPUs. Okay, that's level two lock. GPUs is 30, 30, 80. So that's that should be enough for streaming and steam streaming and recording and actually playing the game but uh, I I kind of spent like one and a half hour this morning to get this uh, running 
because it might crash on startup. It's trying always to compile the shaders and apparently running out of memory while it's doing that, so... And not so great. By the way, I was just, just lurking and came across your stream. Maybe I can help you out with some uh, Twitch custom uh, designs. Sure, that, that, that sounds, sounds okay. Sounds useful. So there's lots of stuff to research. Weasley after class. Let's follow that quest for now. Cool man, what's your Discord? I'm uh, DM you my portfolio. Okay. I, I do do actually know artists, but yeah, sure, why not? Uh, specific uh, Twitch uh, stuff would be would be really great, actually. Why not? Talk talk to you later. Alright, let's start the quest. And after this I think what I, I'll need to be room, off. Professor? I was thinking the same That's thing. Elf. Perhaps you could help. Oh uh, excuse Deke. Ah, House elf. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you, you outside momentarily right. to assign yeah, your sure. first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Nice. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Was it like in, in a book that uh, Weasley had like, Ron, Ron had like borrowed van, a wand, that was like uh, <laughs> faithful to its or original owner, so he was like really bad at uh, magic just because he had like wrong wand, and the intent wand actually broke, and <laughs> it was even worse before he got new one. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. 
There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. Apparently some things no haven't changed in 100 ye years. Okay, I'm ready I'm to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once Na you've finished name dropping so hard now that we are yeah, probably the going to fight them. <laughs> no time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Petting every cat. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Rebellion. We better found then. Yeah, it's it's a vibe. Flying bait. Okay, that's a flying bait. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. How do I <laughs> collect the page? Can I just shoot it or? No. Let me go. Akio! Levioso! Akio! Okay, Akio works. A flying page must be around here somewhere.
Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobi and Oak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. <laughs> gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> Uh... Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Ah. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Accio! Brilliant. Rebellion! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, he's flying. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. He's flying paper birds. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, no. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair us! Nicely done! Works like a charm, doesn't it? 